So, hello guys and very welcome from a bit different uh, location now. Um, I'm here at home and doing some preparations and uh, I thought for this episode of Diaries of a Wildlife Photographer I take you with me and uh, we built together something I did like three years ago or something. It's a bit of camera trapping but a bit of experimental, more free camera trapping. Uh, in this case I want to take an uh, image of a badger coming back to the cave. I did this three years ago at a badger den in winter and now I want to do something similar uh, also with a badger um, but with the spring some flowers and nice uh, lighting and yeah that's my idea for this project and let me show you what I got here so the idea is that I have a bucket here and we are gonna make a hole in here and put the camera trap right through it and to make the thing look more like an entrance from a cave we are going to make with uh, we're gonna use this stuff to put inside doing some shaping and then I'm gonna color it um, yeah last time I used uh, real mud but the problem with that was that the mud got um, dry and then it fell all off and I think with this uh, with this stuff it may be much better and also more um, for a long life project so if I want to do the same on another location with another setting or so I can use the same bucket again and again um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now and I think we start building now so this thing is should be good right now and what I'm going to do now is take the foam and put it inside and then we'll see how it looks like. I have no idea how how much this foam expands or, or how it how it works. Um, I guess we'll see. foam is applied now it needs to dry for at least an hour I'm gonna wait for like uh, an hour and 30 minutes or something and then I start painting because uh, tomorrow it should go out and I hope uh, everything stays together but as far as I can see it looks good and yeah so let's wait an hour and then we'll start the painting so, little update, um, the whole thing ended in a, a little disaster, um, all the foam, I, it was written on the, on the description, uh, it's hard after one hour, now I've waited one and a half hours and it was still very liquid and yeah, it looks now like like this and now I have to wait a bit um, because the markets are closed, I don't have any more foam and I need to let this dry, then on Monday I need to get some more of the foam and then we start to finish this thing up but until then I just gonna get up there install the tray cam and yeah so we just have to wait I guess and yeah on Monday I drove to the market got some 
new building foam and I did actually uh, get two doses for of foam uh, which was actually much too much but I used it and after it dried out I used a knife to shape everything and after that we began with the painting. I first started with a darker color, darker brown um, for the inlays and for the undertone and after that I did the uh, highlights with a higher brown tone and actually that worked pretty well. Hello guys, um, today is the day getting out to my local Badger Den and I want to set the entrance I built up and set it there for the next week or so and then we'll see if everything worked out. So, um, we just checked the uh, big, uh, the, the small camera trap and there was a lot of activity here so it's a perfect spot and I'm gonna show you the setup now. We built everything up and so I can explain to you how it is supposed to be. So, here is the bucket. The ways are coming here from the main den and going into the bush. Um, we have some little snackies, not for any food addiction or something, just for giving a little uh, glimpse for the badgers. Uh, here is the motion sensor pointing in this direction, so when the badgers come here and are sniffing around and stuff we should get a perfect image then we have the main flash here and one trail cam to monitor everything and we have one flash over here to get a little bit of backlighting so far the theory um, now I need to set up everything and then we have to wait for about a week. Uh, it's, with this it's not like with a Lynx or so for to wait like month, a month or six or eight weeks. Um, here uh, I have to check like every one to at maximum two weeks because there's so much activity here um, that the SD cards are every time full after a week. So now I'm gonna make it on, see if all the flashes work and everything, and then we come back here in a week. Hello guys and very welcome 
back today. I'm going to check the camera trap. It's like one week now, six days. Hope there should have happened something. Uh, if not, I have still have some spare batteries where I can, which I can use. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. And hopefully we get already some results. So, almost there. Uh, I'm very excited to see what, what's going on there. Because maybe I'm lucky and also have some uh, fox cups on it. Maybe, you know, could be a lot of things could be possible right now. So, yeah, fingers crossed. So, camera didn't trigger anymore, so looks like there was a lot of activity. Now first what I'm gonna do is check the tray cam, if I see if everything happened here, anything happened here. And then I'm gonna check the big one. Also something I can really recommend to you guys that are uh, photographers, always have such a little uh, thingy here where you can read out the tray camera footage. That's very useful and very, very, very nice. So let's see what we got here.
So, for the moment, that's it. Um, guess I'll have to wait another week. Maybe the badgers get used to it then. And yeah, fingers crossed for next week. Hi guys, and very welcome back in week two. So this time I, it looks like I got something. I uh, got a picture with a young badger looking straight into the hole and the mama badger like down here. Um, very interesting, uh, interested on how it's gonna look on the PC. And I'm changing the batteries now. And what I'm also gonna do is, wait, let me show you. I'm also exchanging the existing trail camera with the wireless trail camera. And yeah, um, then just change all the batteries, all the SD cards and stuff like that. And then it's ready to be left for another week. So, uh, everything done. I have some problems with the uh, wireless tray cam. Um, always says SD card error, something. Um, yeah, but still, I think I have a proper good image. Gonna see how it looks like uh, on the computer. I guess we'll see in a minute when I'm back at a PC. So, let's check it out. So, I'm at the desk and um, yeah, actually it was a baby badger and as normally as they are very, very uh, curious and always want to know what it is. Um, yeah, but the image isn't quite that thing that I wanted so I probably gonna wait another week and um, yeah, let's see what we get then. Good morning, guys. Or in my case, it's morning. Uh, it's been three weeks now. Last week, right after I checked the camera trap in the evening, there were some baby badgers right next to the camera trap. And after a few days, the wireless tray camera stopped working so I don't know what happened from the next few days and yeah now I'm going to go up check everything change the batteries the SD card and I guess we'll see if something has happened and we got any nice images and yeah, I'm right before work, right before I go to work. Yeah, I'm... And in case you wonder, I'm dressed for work. Uh, not for outdoor clothing, but I have some time before I go to work today. So, yeah, no outdoor clothing today. Uh, yeah. So, I am there. What I realized at first is that one flash is down and... No, one flash is down. I guess the badgers were very active, the small ones. Ah, everything's still working. That's good. Also, the flash, they dug out uh, yeah that kinda wa is a problem yeah maybe I can tuck it in again we see you see here there was normally the flash and now it's laying here 
Uh, so yeah, the small badgers were very active, I guess. Okay, so far so good. We got some really nice images uh, just by the quick review. We got some nice images. Still not perfect. Uh, the problem is that the uh, cave entrance is very high, so most of the time the face is like cut uh, from the badgers. And the best images, of course, happened when the flash fell down. So I guess I have to make some readjustments and then I change all the batteries and then we can go again. So, um, here's everything ready. So what I basically did, wait, let me show you. Uh, I basically like put the the side behind. I put it up a bit, so it's not like not like this anymore. I'm more like this, so I'm photographing down a little bit. So I should get rid of the high rim over here. But yeah, I guess we'll see that in a week. And the only thing I have to do now is to check the trail camera why this thing isn't working again. And yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so everything done. Now that we have done some adjustments, I guess it should work out everything. I hope the young badgers are very cooperative. So I guess in the next few days we should get something. So yeah, fingers crossed. And I guess we'll see in a few days. Hi guys. Um, I just thought I make a video here um, otherwise the whole video is gonna take too long um, it's been one more week now and after just a few days uh, the cubs and the adults were coming along and they did so much uh, trouble around there and they were very active and I got some very nice images sadly the one flash in the back uh, was not working but still the main flash was perfectly working so we got some pretty decent images um, I'm absolutely happy with the shots I think I might uh, let the setup up for another week a uh, few weeks um, after I repair the flashes um, but yeah for now I'm very happy and and I think we can end this series of diaries of wildlife photographer for today or for the for this episode and I hope you enjoyed it maybe learned something and I guess we see the next time when we are going out in the wilderness see you then guys <laughs>